Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the OP Investing. Today we're going to cover the weekly outlook of the major forex pairs. And this is actually quite going to be very, very, I don't know, like fast lesson because as you can see, three, four, four weeks, we are just consolidating. Like the previous week, I told you the same. I don't know like where the price is actually going. It is very ambiguous because uh, the previous week it took the high and the low of the previous previous week in the, the previous week like this week we took a high in the low of the previous week you see kind of like it, it is just it is just uh super consolidating like you don't know where the price is actually going like there is no any clue about that uh as you can see we are just uh here uh, we are just here and Everything is dependent on the macroeconomical uh, situation right now. The banks are collapsing. Uh, we are just waiting for the Federal Reserve, whether they are going to start printing money and bail out, how, how they say that, bail out the banks and etc. At that time, like uh the the dollar the dollar should be weak and the euro usd should be just pumping to the upside maybe uh they are not gonna do i i, I don't know i don't know very very strange very very um hard situation right now that is why i just recommend you just to watch what is going to happen on the weekly time frame and just to trade on the low time frame such as 15 minute time frame etc even though like the previous week we did have a lot of news like that was not uh, that was kind, kind of like untradeable the whole week uh that was that was awful so <clears throat> the euro usd we have nothing clear on the on the on the usd cat we do have this inside bar candle maybe we need to wait until price breaks out to either side over here if you remember i was telling like we need to wait for the price to break to either side and we are going to trade to that side as you can see the price broke to the upside and we uh, could have traded to the upside that uh, that time like the same happens over here we're going to have the breakout to either side up or down and maybe we're going to have a trade to that uh, to that side you know so uh, nothing is clear. Nothing is clear on the higher time frame as well. Like I can, I can start. I can start telling you some favorite tales. The other just uh, people who make the weekly analysis, like kind of like, okay, guys, we are on the weekly time frame. Uh, this is our low. This is our high. The price is just uh, retracing, failing to make a higher high, and we are going to retrace more to mitigate something like that. Yeah, I can do that, but th that is pointless, you know. That is pointless. <laughs> if if you wanna if you wanna hear some terrorist uh, favorite tales, okay. But if you wanna really implement everything, uh, that that is pointless. AUD USD. We were anticipating for the price to reach this 70% retracement level and yeah we are still on our road like uh, we we are still on our road to the downside maybe we will be anticipating like this retracement over here and then continuation to the upside gbp usd we are retracing kind of like again like you know you see the GBP was the, the worst, I believe. Like, we do have one, two, three, four, five, five weeks. We are just ranging over here, like, without any clear stuff. That is why just analyzing on the higher time frame, such as weekly time frame, like daily time frame, that is that is kind of like useless. The potential levels, uh, if I just uh, mark up some potential levels, are this one. Or uh, the price is just uh, simply gonna. The price is just uh, okay. Here, uh, the price might simply uh, just sweep those highs and then start reversing to the downside. That is uh, quite possible as well. USD GPY. We are having this 
reaction like we were anticipating some reaction over here the price is just falling after such a strong bearish week for the USDGPY we might be anticipating another bearish week because that is quite possible as well uh, after such a clear bearish candle we most of the times have some continuation of course um Peter Coin, I've been waiting for this moment all my life. <laughs> As I told you guys, like <laughs> we need a pump, and, and it and it, it is pumping. Like anticipating something like 28k, 28k, 29k, and then just uh, the reversal to the downside. It's gonna it's gonna hit. It's gonna come to maybe 12, 22k. What do you think? Like. Are we going to have this auto flow kind of like the, uh, the retracement and push to the upside? Like this is kind of like the most possible scenario right now for uh, Bitcoin. Okay, um, XRP still, still, um, I don't know, like the Bitcoin is rising, but XRP is still waiting when it will be going to the upside there is going to be no barriers for it like it's going to just rocket skyrocket etc that is why like personally i was i was anticipating for the xrp to make another just uh push to the downside take some liquidity uh maybe mitigate 33 uh, 33 cents maybe mm, something around that and then reverse and go to the upside but if you're just a hodler like that, that does not make a uh, big sense, you know, kind of like uh, it's 10 percent, 15 percent, something like that. Like, are you going to buy for 37 cents? Are you going to buy for 33 cents? Just a four cents difference. Of course, that is quite, uh, quite much. But uh, on the longer term, like it's, it's good to buy, I guess. Uh, this is not a financial advice. This is not a financial advice make your own uh research own decision etc but uh yeah this is it this is it this is uh what it is and uh i guess i guess we are almost good to go like uh overall very very kind of like indecisive week we don't know where to go we don't know what to do like um the bitcoin is pumping the banks are collapsing <laughs> that that is quite that is quite funny that is quite funny and like it's it's not about how hard you fail it's about how <laughs> that you get up after each failure <laughs> it's it's kind of like uh it, it's a it's about bitcoin so yeah th this was it uh, if you liked it subscribe hit the like button share with your friends and of course guys you are all welcome in our mentorship thank you so much